Hey guys, I got a great video here today for you because we're taking a look at seven different battery packs coming from five different battery brands. We're gonna throw these packs into a limitless build designed around 100 miles per hour, and we're gonna ultimately determine what kind of load these things can withstand and maintain some significant voltage there. We're gonna summarize all the results, including the speed that these packs run at, at the very end of the video. This summarization table will also appear in some form on the battery spreadsheet for Patreon members who are in that battery tier. That's coming in 2026. Now let's jump right into it and I'll introduce each one of the packs as we go. Here's the first pack SMC 5000 SRD V4. This is the speed run and drag racing pack and I do have to say that the very first pack that we ran here, it's this one. We already made a pass and it didn't work out. So this is actually pass two. We're going to send it right now. That's pretty quick, guys. Now, you can also see I drifted off even from the center line there a little bit. That first pass, that's what happened. If you want to see what happened there, you're going to have to take a look at one of the previous videos that I did where I pretty much only summarize the SMC up against one other pack. I'll leave a link in the description below for that. So as I bring it back, I'm just testing to make sure that everything is still, you know, working okay, because it did go off the road, and I'm just checking to make sure that everything still feels exactly as I expected. Let's get that speed run figured out. What do we got here on the meter? Stop. Read. 160. 160, so 161 is 100 miles an hour. So the next one we have there is the 120C Z pack, 5200 milliamp hours, and this doesn't have Z battery the, 4S. It is the Z battery 4S. It does not have the EC5 connectors. We are running the AS150 connectors because this is the other pack that we compared up against that SMC in a previous video. So we're gonna just like the other one, get this thing sent all the way down there. I'm bringing it to the same spot in all the battery tests that we do here. Get it turned around, square it up nice and straight so that I can get a really good start and then full trigger. All right, let's check, we're clear. Set the glasses straight and go. My glass is probably on the end of my nose. So here we go. Now I really do like how I kept it as close as I possibly can to that center line. However, I could definitely tell that this appears much slower than that previous pass. And every time I see this car go down, I can definitely see that there is a massive difference in speed. So we're gonna get that thing back here and we're gonna check out exactly how fast we are. I'm just barely bringing it in. I can grab the phone now and get that connected up to that speed meter. Stop. Read on the Z here. One twenty-eight on the Z. And there it is. So the next one that we got here is a CNHL. It's a seventy C. This is the G plus. Guys are really right, familiar guys, with this. Take a pack. look at this. This is the big six thousand milliamp hour. It's a wide pack. It's a long pack, but it's thin. And this is how I have to mount it in the V1. The V1 has the extra long battery case, battery tray, and it just barely squeezes in on an angle even. And I just, you know tighten up those straps and we're good. So we're gonna go and plug this thing in and get this guy running for our speed test here. All right, we're gonna get this thing down there and give it a run, see what it'll do. There we go. So most guys are familiar with that 5,000 milliamp hour that we've tested here on the channel a long while ago. This happens to be the 6,000, so it has a significant advantage compared to all the other batteries in the fact that it has a lot more capacity. You know, 5,000 roughly is what we're comparing up against this at 6,000. Significant difference. Let's see what it can do. Okay, we are clear and straight, so let's get into it. Full trigger. I did let off. I did feel like it was gonna 
cause an issue. So we will have to go down there and go again. And that's the reality, guys. If I see an issue here, I don't want to go and push it because it'll cost money, possibly. And that was pretty good. I kept that very straight in comparison to the previous one, which just seemed to be drifting too much for my liking, right. and I don't want to cause damage. This guy, we're going to stop and read. 149. There it is, there 149. It is. 149 kilometers an hour on that CNHL. And the SMC was also a second pass run. All the others were a one pass. So there you have it. Next one here, SMC, high cycle life, high performance as well. So SMC has a few packs out. We've tested already the SRD version. That's like the king of the castle there. It's going to be the highest performing. Let's see what this guy can do in comparison to all the others. So we got her down there. All right, here we go. Here we go. I do like how I kept that one also straight down the strip. So we get that thing turned around back in and we'll see what kind of speed that we get from this high performance variant we'll of the stop. SMC line. Read 144. 144. Wow. Pretty good. So the next one that we have here is the Gens Ace G Tech 5300 milliamp hour. This one comes in at a rated 60C. We're going to see how this compares. So, again, this pack is an EC5, that SMC high performance is an EC5 connector. The only AS150 connectors we're using have been on the Z pack as well as the SRD because it comes with nothing. So, let's send this guy. Looked pretty good. Looked like it was moving pretty good. However, it did drift off to the right hand side there. So let's see what kind of speed we get out of it. And now guy. we're going to read the speed. We are going to stop and read. So the Gen Ace, 139 kilometers an hour. And one we got here is SMC HCL High Cycle Life. However, the EC stands for economy. So this is one of the cheapest batteries that you can get on the SMC website specific to radio controlled cars. This also has the EC5 connector and it is a hard case. Let's see what this thing can do. So we got the car down there and now we just need to get it turned around and we'll check. We got room. And let's go. This is the SMC. Again, I like how I keep it straight, but it does seem like this was quite slow. It's not going to be a performer, you know, in the 140s, 150s. Let's get a reading on this SMC. This is the high cycle life, high performance. We're going to stop our not run high performance. and it's read. The economy. 136 kilometers an hour. 136. So now we have the Ovonic. This is the 5200 milliamp hour version, 130C. This was highly requested for me to go and test. I brought these packs in and luckily I still have them. I have been getting rid of packs. This is also helping me if I sell off a couple packs, I can bring in one pack. So doing this definitely helps the cause. Here we go. Okay, definitely seems like it's a lot slower than the Onyx top tier there. packs here. So we the Ovonic is getting. Stop and read. Come on, read. There we are, 132 on the Ovonics. Wow. So that's what's happening, guys, in terms of speed. I'm gonna summarize that right here for you. Let's go through this. Here's the results, guys. Now, I do wanna be clear on a point that I raised earlier, and this is that all the packs that you see here are the packs that I've brought in for testing, and this is the current allocation that I have. I'm constantly selling off packs and bringing new packs in. So some of these are gonna go, and then I'm gonna be bringing in other packs. I hope to have tests done very similar to this, 
you will want to subscribe to the channel in order to follow along with all the tests that we do on batteries. Number one here comes in for the SMC SRD. We can see 160 kilometers an hour, 99.4 miles an hour is what that works out to. And then you got the voltage, current and wattage and take a look at the wattage there. 4,200 watts nearly out of this pack. And then we got the CNHL G Plus at 149 kilometers an hour. Significant advantage there on the 6,000 milliamp hour as opposed to 5,000, but it does come in breaking that 92 mile an hour mark. And you can see the voltage, current and the wattage. And that pass did come from a combination. I took data there, a combination of pass one and pass two. Pass one actually held wide open throttle for a decent amount of time. The speed could have actually come from that single pass we might have been able to do a couple more kilometers an hour with it but same idea with the SMC we probably could have done another couple kilometers an hour with that SMC as well because that also was a pass too and I show that in the previous video SMC HCL high performance 5000 pack comes in in third place there at 144 it just barely misses the 90 mile per hour mark and maintains 11.8 volts under load the Gen Zace G Tech comes in at number 439 kilometers an hour with 86 miles per hour with 11.2 volts. The SMC economy version, 5,200 milliamp hour, comes in at 136 kilometers an hour, hitting 84 and a half miles per hour. Then the Ovonic 130C 5,200 milliamp hour, comes in sixth place at 132 or 82 miles per hour. And the last place here for today or in most of the battery tests that we do is again, Z comes in at 128 kilometers an hour or 79.5 miles per hour. Voltage there is 10.1. There's really no need to have a voltage cutoff on these runs. And if I did, you can see that almost all of these batteries would be hitting it. This is what I believe Arma did not instruct their owners and operators to do for their new limitless 120 ready to run. That's hitting the voltage cutoff and limiting the speed there on the runs and passes that many make. Well guys, I hope you enjoy this video. It's probably going to be a little while before I can get more of these packs tested outside as the snow started flying and I definitely can't make passes on that slick surface. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next one.